subscribe for Mrs. Hair with Sam. The Art of Money for ages 11 and up. Supplies. Samples of foreign currency or copies. Paper, pencil, eraser. Fine point markers, colored pencil, gel pens. Dollar bill printout, tracing paper. This lesson starts with a trivia question with a prize for the correct answer. The question is, most Americans see this Gilbert Stewart painting every time they open their wallets. Only call on students who raise their hand. If no one guesses, keep giving them hints until they do. The painting is of a man in history that every American knows. Everyone here today has seen a copy of this painting. The painting was saved when Dolly Madison grabbed it off the wall while escaping as the British set fire to the White House during the War of 1812. He was our first U.S. president. If those hints don't do it, you will have to tell them, but someone usually guesses it by then. The answer? The painting of George Washington on the $1 bill. The prize is an official government reproduction of the Gilbert Stewart painting, an actual $1 bill. The kids are astonished that the student with the right answer gets cold, hard cash. But when you think about it, it's a really inexpensive project. Now take a look at the samples of money from all around the world. You won't believe how inexpensive used foreign currency is. If you go to a place that buys gold and silver, a coin exchange, or a coin and jewelry business, they will have inexpensive old used money. The expensive money are the bills and coins that are in mint condition. You can also print copies of currency from the internet. Ask your students to notice the different denominations, the artwork, and any cool tricks to prevent counterfeiting. And make sure they know what counterfeiting means. This lesson is on the art element line. Hand out enlarged copies of the US $1 bill from the link in the show notes. Let the kids know that you are not breaking any laws by copying money, only if you tried to spend it. Take a close look at our $1 bill. Notice the intricate line work on the front and back. Our money has lots of symbolism. Does anyone know what the pyramid with the I stands for? The pyramid represents strength and endurance. The shadow on the west side is believed to mean the western frontier that had yet to be explored. Take a sheet of tracing paper, place it over the front or back of the dollar bill printout. Warm up their line drawing skills by tracing some of the intricate line work. Stop them in a few minutes and give them the assignment. Create your own money. Choose any denomination and year, past, present, or future. Make your money difficult to forge or counterfeit. Decide if you want to design money for the U.S. or another country, a state, a town, or an imaginary place all your own. Your bill does not have to be rectangle. It can be any shape or size, but keep in mind that it should easily fit into a wallet or cash register. Have your students come up with three rough ideas and then help them decide which one to finalize. Why more than one? Remind them that their first idea is not always their best idea. Also, choose a medium to work in. For example, if the bill is small with lots of fine detail, then gel pen might be better than marker. Here are some trivia you can tell your students about while they are working. Above the great American bald eagle is a glory or burst of light containing 13 stars, one for each of the original colonies. The right claws hold an olive branch with 13 leaves representing peace, and the left a bundle of 13 arrows symbolizing war. The eagle's head is pointing toward the desire for peace. The shield with 13 stripes covering the eagle's breast symbolizes a united nation. The top of the shield represents Congress, the head of the eagle, the executive branch, and the nine tail feathers, the Supreme Court. A ribbon held in the eagle's beak bears the Latin motto, E Pluribus Unum, which has 13 letters. It means out of many, one. 
A pyramid, a symbol of material strength and endurance, is unfinished, symbolizing a striving toward growth and a goal of perfection. Above the pyramid, an eye inside a triangle represents the spiritual above the material. The base of the pyramid bears the Roman numerals 1776. Below is the motto Novus Ordo Seclorum, a new order of the ages. Finally, if you listen to my podcast, you will have learned about the Guess the Medium game. Every week, I post a copy of artwork made from something strange and unexpected, and the kids have to guess what it is. The American artist Mark Wagner creates portraits from fragments of real money. Show his work the week after this project so you don't give the trivia answer away. Have fun making money. Awesome! You have it.